Hello. Hello. This is a collaboration video with other YouTubers. You can see their videos. We'll put a link on the screen somewhere so you can see the different channels involved. But in this video, this week, we're going to talk about top five campsites by the coast. So we decided to feature our top five campsites all in the UK, next to the coast, and we're going to rank them in uh, five to one, with our number one being the best. We filmed it by some water, the closest we could find, <laughs> just to give you a bit of a flavour. So straight in, number five. So at number five, this is a site, we're going to put the names of the sites at the bottom so you can see them on the screen because we can't remember them all to be honest, but this one was called Ladron Bay. And the site itself is quite a big commercial site, wasn't it? It was really busy. Yes, yeah, we stay there for the location. There's loads yeah. to do on site. They've got like entertainment, uh, pool, restaurants, shop, takeaway. Yeah. Uh, really good if you've got kids and you, you like a busy site. It was, it's kind of stacked because it's on the, on the cliff tops. Um, and we were right at the top and it was oh so windy. Yeah, it was very windy. We're there during a storm, but it's brilliant for walking to Sidmouth and walking the other way along the coast. Some really beautiful cliff top paths. Yeah, some great walking. Yeah. Um, and location wise, uh, really good if you're happy to uh, go places on foot. Yeah, great for families. So, number four, um, this campsite we stayed at near to Padstow, um, which Cobble. was. In Cornwall, yep. yeah, Padstow, Cornwall, in case there's another Padstow. Um, so it was close to uh, the town ish, sort yep. of walk. It was walked through a field. Big, big Tesco, walked through a couple of fields, and then you were um, right into Padstow. Um, By and, the coast. Yeah, everybody's uh, that's been to Cornwall and might have been to Padstow knows how lovely that is, so I don't really need to say yeah. any more on that one. Fantastic restaurants, again, loads of really good clifftop walks around the, around the coastline there. Some fantastic taking in the old tin mine buildings. Yeah, we, we hired some up. bikes yep, there because we didn't have bikes with us. That's right, rode the camel trail as well, which was fantastic. So if you do that, you can, you can ride the camel trail. We didn't have bikes with us, so we hired them. It yeah. was really good fun, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, it was, yeah. Again, following the coast all the way along the camel trail. And number three on our list is Southport. Southport site, again, is right next to the sand dunes. It's lovely. You, you drive in, you can see the sand dunes as you drive into Southport. And then basically the campsite is right on the, the side of the beach. So you walk out, you can go through a park, can't you? There's a park uh, yeah, opposite. Yeah, it's like, yeah, sort of a park, sand dune type Sorry, sand dunes, thing. yeah. And then you cross over to the road and then it's all you got the beach. over there. Yeah, yeah. and then we, we did that. We crossed over and then we walked in, uh, following the coast, all the way into Southport yeah. to the uh, moor touristy type things, the town and the, uh, the pier. It's ideal and right behind the campsite there as well as a really controlled car track just in case you're interested in that <laughs> for any reason. <laughs> Uh, number two for us, uh, one of our favourite sites, all time favourites, uh, is Edinburgh. Yeah, Edinburgh doesn't sound like it's on the coast, but it really is. Literally, the campsite is on the. You walk out the campsite, you go straight down to the shoreline, and there's an island just off the shoreline that you can go out to at low tide. There's a causeway. At low tide, you can walk out to it. Yeah, it's great along there. It's a really huge, like, boardwalk. Um, well, not like a boardwalk, an actual boardwalk, I think. <laughs> um, with the restaurants. Uh, along the front there, so yeah. great for walking, running. I think we saw people on every form of transport. Rollerblades, <laughs> yeah. yeah, the lot. It was really good. Uh, so yeah, it's a really nice one. Again, along that coastline, you can cycle into Edinburgh as well. You can go across to Leith. You can go to see the the ship, uh, the Queen Elizabeth, um, Mary, the QE2. No, not the QE2. Anyway, there's uh, a boat Royal there. Britannia. That's the one. Thanks. Yeah. <laughs> so really nice Edinburgh, right next to the, the coastline there as well. And number one on our list, our all-time favourite coastal site in the UK, is Dunnet, Dunnet Bay. Bay. Dunnet Bay, right up on the top of top, top of Scotland, the furthest northerly point mainland is Dunnet Head, and the campsite's just round a corner off the inside of it, Dunnet, on Dunnet Bay. You literally, you tip pitch up, and at the back of the campsite, you cross the sand dune, straight onto the beach. 
one of the most beautiful white sandy beaches. Um, if you've got dogs, fantastic. Molly loved it. The only people on the beach in the morning. Uh, we can see uh, where whales and seals and dolphins are along that coastline yeah, all too. Along the coastline which there, we yeah. saw. We're not just making it up. No, check out our previous video. Yeah, if you want to see that, we'll put a link <laughs> up at the top so you can see it. But it's on the right on the north coast 500 as well. But it's absolutely beautiful. Done it, done it, Bay. Beautiful, yeah, totally. absolutely just, stunning. Just campsite. go. It's just a brilliant life experience. Just, yeah. uh, just seeing that. So yeah, definitely, definitely our favourite. So thank you very much indeed for watching this video. We hope we give you some ideas and some flavours. If you've got any great ideas yourself, stick them in the comments below. We love to find more coastal campsites. We struggle to find um, ones that are right next to the beach that are um, you know that people would recommend. So anything you've got on that, let us know. Yep, great. Thanks for watching. Make sure you watch all the other videos. And we'll see you next time. Cheers. Bye.